Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 25th of 2021, well, it is titled the moon during a total lunar eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, we're going to see a very video clip that runs less than 20 seconds and shows an example of a total lunar eclipse. Now, this is the type of eclipse that occurs when the Earth comes between the moon and the sun. So what that does is the Earth casts a shadow out in space and when they are directly aligned then the moon will move into the Earth's shadow and be blocked out. Now if the Earth were simply a solid sphere it would completely block out the moon and we would not see it at all. However the Earth has an atmosphere which bends some of the light around and that will allow some light to get into the shadow. So Earth's shadow is not completely dark because of uh, the atmosphere. And that will allow us when we see the eclipse to see that the moon will turn a deep blood red. Now this is actually the eclipses are one of the ways that ancient Greek astronomers knew that the Earth had to be round. So even long ago they knew that Earth had to be spherical and that's because the shadow of the Earth on the moon is always a circle and the only object that will always cast a circular shadow no matter how it's orientated would be a sphere. So let's go ahead and take a look and play the video here. And as it starts, you'll see the shadow start in the lower left hand corner and slowly cover the moon. And you'll see that the moon will turn that deep red and it'll turn a deeper red as it is closer into the uh, shadow and then we'll come back out again. So we will see it completely there and we can play this again and keep looking at it and watch that shadow and you'll note how the edge of the shadow is always rounded that it is a circle and that tells us that the earth is spherical. The reddish color is the red light that sneaks in through the earth's atmosphere and allows the uh, that it was a longer wavelength so the ones that can get through the atmosphere and bend into the Earth's shadow making whatever is in the Earth's shadow appear a very deep red color and that gives the moon that blood red appearance during a lunar eclipse. Now we do have a lunar eclipse coming up in just a couple of days now in fact tomorrow on the 26th and that will be a total lunar eclipse nicely visible over the Pacific Ocean and partially visible over eastern Asia and parts of North and South America. Uh, best visible uh, from land areas would be places like Australia and New Zealand uh, as well as the Hawaiian Islands uh, but in terms of land not quite the other other areas not quite is good to be able to see part of it again from Eastern Asia and parts of like the Western United States especially and parts of South America. So here's a chance if you're in one of those areas to be able to see a total lunar eclipse coming up very soon. So that was our picture of the day for May the 25th of 2021. It was titled the moon during a total lunar eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.